So this post is using the prophetic word hashtag. I'm not quite sure what's being prophesied, but if it's a concussion, she nailed it, I believe. Hello friends, my name is Greg, I'm a pastor, and today I'm reacting to a band of self-professing prophets that I found on TikTok. Now, I'm no prophet myself, but I knew that as soon as I searched for the hashtag prophecy on TikTok, that I was in for a wild, wild ride, and boy was I right. But I had no idea just how disastrous of a ride this would be. If you're new to my channel, you should know that I go after ideas and not people. The last prophecy at the end of this video is particularly painful. I really hope you don't buy into it. Let's jump in. God wants you to hear what he's about to say and receive it. And if you're watching this video right now, this is a word for you. Whether this video was shared to you by someone that loves you, or you share this video to someone that needs to hear this, or you just came across it. But the Lord told me to tell you that he is about to make your name great. That's right. The Lord says your name is about to be shot in the wind. The Lord says that there, there'll be those in boardrooms and there's going to be those in HR. There's going to be those in places of approval where your name is going to be mentioned and they're going to give you the yes. And they're going to give you the credit. They're going to give you the promotion. They're going to give you the job. They're going to give you the new house or the new car or things are just going to work out for you. The Lord says, I'm making your name great. Even as I did it unto Abraham, I made his name great. Why? Because he was a friend of me and he was a man of faith. Get ready in this season. Your faith has been tested. Now get ready to be promoted. God says your name is about to even hit places where you have never even stepped into. Get ready, just type your name and say, God, make my name great. Wow, he gives quite the invitation. He says, if you're watching this video right now, this word is for you. Thank you, Mr. TikTok prophet, thank you. This video really is a gift, but not because you have prophesied greatness over me, but because you have given me a feast a feast of unbiblical teaching to devour with the word of God. Okay, let's jump straight into the heart of this supposed prophecy. According to this guy, God's purpose for all who would watch this video is that he would make their name great. But is that really God's purpose for the lives of believers? Well, since God's messengers would never contradict God's word, let's look to what scripture has to say on the topic. Philippians 129 heralds, for it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake. Hmm. That's awkward. I was hoping for a verse that talked about God maybe granting me a new house or a new car, but this verse only talks about God granting me faith and persecution for living out that faith in a hostile world. You know what? Maybe I just flipped to the wrong part of scripture. Silly me. Let me try again. Let's go to a new verse here. All right. Uh, 2 Timothy 3.12 declares, Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Ugh, still not right. Man, I'm really looking for a passage about promotion, not persecution. You know what? Let's try one more time. There has got to be a verse about God making my name great somewhere in here. Here we go again, 2 Corinthians 4, 5 says, For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants, for Jesus' sake. Well, how about that? I know this may sound outrageous, but it turns out the Christian life isn't about making my name great, it's about declaring the greatness of God's name. Also, I can't believe he asked viewers to leave the comment, God, make my name great. I'm gonna comment back. Man, look at all these comments. God, make my name great, claiming this. God, make my name great. God, please make my name great. Amen, Lord, make my name great. This is crazy. I'm about to bring some truth up in here. God, use me to declare the greatness of your name. Take that, TikTok prophet. What? What just happened?
So this post is using the prophetic word hashtag. I'm not quite sure what's being prophesied, but if it's a concussion, she nailed it. I believe. Receive this concussion. Receive it now, 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 now. <laughs> also, I love how this self-proclaimed prophet provides her own sound effects. It really adds to the weight of the moment, displaying to all that this is no ordinary face palm. No, no, no. It is a holy face palm. This is really important for anyone who's entering the business of prophesying to remember. If there's no sound effect when you hit someone, it's assault. But if you add the sound effect, now it's an anointing. Kacha! I prophesy that you who are reviewing TikTok prophecies shall receive all the likes and all the subscribes right now from everyone watching. What a desperate idiot. I just got a really wild word that some of you will definitely want to hear. And if you scroll past your loss, and the father even told me to say that. I was writing as he was speaking, so I'm just going to read it. Breakthrough is coming. Tell my people. They think nothing is happening. Remember what I said. Things seem darkest right before the breakthrough. They don't see the spiritual changes, shifts. They can feel it. But seeing is believing. They will see results. Tangible changes will be made. In the spirit, many changes have been made. Wait and see, my children, what I have in store for you. And then he spoke Exodus 4.4. But the Lord said to Moses, reach out your hand and grasp it by the tail. So he reached out his hand and caught it. And it became a staff in his hand. Seeing is believing. Wait expectantly on the Father to show up and show out. Well, there is one thing right about this so-called prophecy. It is indeed a wild word. Where do I even begin with this one? Well, let's start with the very beginning. She says, if you scroll past this video, your loss. And if that wasn't enough, she goes even further to say that the Father even told her to say that. Wow, this sounds like a desperate attempt to get higher viewer retention. Oh, you scrolled past my video? Oh, you know what the father has to say about that? Your loss. It is so blatantly manipulative and honestly, it's sickening. That aside, the entire premise of her so-called message from God is that seeing is believing. And I'm just gonna say it straight, this is a direct contradiction to scripture. Pharaoh saw the wonders of God in Egypt and he did not believe. In fact, in Exodus 7, he sees the same serpent sign that this woman mentions, but he does not believe because of his hardness of heart. In Jesus' story of the rich man and Lazarus in Luke 16, Abraham tells the rich man who died and went into torment that if his brothers do not heed the words and the warning of Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if some Someone were to rise from the dead. And Jesus proclaimed to Thomas in John 20, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Moreover, Hebrews 11.1 1 declares, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Once again, we see a self-proclaimed messenger of God contradicting the word of God. Now, don't get me wrong. Is it a blessing when we see the promises of God come to fruition? Absolutely. God has promised. He has declared that he will save in this church age and seeing people repent of their sins and put their trust in Jesus Christ is one of the greatest joys in my life to witness. However, even if I were to never see one person come to saving faith in my lifetime, it would still be my greatest privilege to spend my life declaring the gospel, serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. William Carey, a missionary in India, preached for seven years before he saw someone come to saving faith in Jesus Christ. Can you imagine how discouraging and unbiblical it would have been for someone to come up to him in his second year and say, Oi, what you doing there, Mr. Carey? Don't you know? Saying is believing. Why you still believing? 
if you're not seeing. Christians, our confidence is not what we see in the world, but what we see in the word. And in the word, we see the goodness of God. We see his righteousness and justice. We see his unchanging character. We see his faithfulness and his steadfast love towards his people. And we see his lordship over all. Teachings from people like this self-proclaimed prophet are unbiblical. And contrary to what she said, it is your gain for rejecting it. Also, you should know outright, all of these TikTok prophets are a sham. How do I know that? Because all of divine revelation culminates in one person, the God-man, Jesus Christ, who lived, died, and resurrected to redeem us from our sins. God has given his people words of power to cling to in this age, and those words declare that scripture is sufficient in confronting darkness, scripture is sufficient in building the church of Christ, and scripture is sufficient to carry home the people of God all the way until the return of Christ. Because of the authority and sufficiency of scripture, we need not any other word. Real breakthrough doesn't come when you submit your life to these TikTok prophets. It comes when you submit your life to the living living and active word of God. This is truth for you to receive today. If you've not repented of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ, may you do that today and experience the everlasting joy that's found in worshiping him alone. I prophesy! I prophesy! I prophesy that- <laughs> Most ridiculous thing.